Our next group of clever volunteers have kept themselves busy with a major project in addition to their day-to-day -day of putting smiles on the faces of adults and children with their miniature railway. Please welcome Tauranga Model Marine and Engineering Club. Well, welcome to the Event Centre Railway Station and introducing two models from Tauranga. Model engineers, that is. Presenters Peter and Oliver have been well trained to keep you on track. Hope you can see them, they are not wearing platforms. Be on guard, we don't want any sleepers in the audience, and please signal your support with plenty of points. All aboard. Pete, when was our club formed? In 1979, by combining two clubs, the Tauranga Model Engineers and the Tauranga Model Marine Club, to form Tauranga Model Marine and Engineering Club Incorporated. What is model engineering? Well, model engineering is the building of scale models of full-size prototypes using similar methods to full-size manufacturing. Every major mechanical or civil Engineering projects starts with a model to make sure everything will fit together and work. What are the aims of our club? To foster the art of model engineering by providing support through meetings and other activities to share skills and provide a springboard for young members who want to pursue a career in model engineering. Are all our members engineers? Some are, but the majority are from all walks of life with various life experiences or with a common interest in mechanical engineering. Is the Tauranga Model Marine and Engineering Club the only organisation of its type in New Zealand? No, our club is one of 25 similar organisations spread throughout New Zealand. All operate as non-profit organisations with similar aims. So where do our members fit in as volunteers? Well, we need to go back. Model engineering was started as an interest in the 1800s. Over the last 120 years, railways have played a huge part in the world's engineering and social development. So there's been an interest in building railway models for many, many years. Our club planned to provide a miniature railway track from day one in 1979 to encourage members to build model steam locomotives. In 1980, permission was given by council to lay a tr temporary track one weekend a month in Memorial Park Tower for members and the public to enjoy. From that day, members volunteered their time to operate, maintain and expand our railway. Our club charges for rides. Does that mean members get paid? No, definitely not. Our constitu cl constitution clearly states that no member of our club can gain financially through any club activity. We also charge for members an annual subscription free of $25 a year. However, to build, maintain and expand our railway, we have to have money from somewhere. And asking a donation for ride covers that need. In 1980, we charged 20 cents a ride for 100 metres long now, 36 years later, we charge $2 a ride for all ages for a 1,000 metre ride. Our first bolt together track was funded by and built by a group of six model engineers donating $5 a week to purchase the steel and donating their time to manufacture the track. Then to lay it and pick it up again at the each day at the end of the weekend of the railway operating in Memorial Park. The locomotives and carriages that operated on this track at that time came from members' own private collections. The use and maintenance donated to the community as well as the members' time. Now our club railway has its own locomotives and carriages, tunnels, bridges, a shelter, station shelter, two steam facilities, a miniature alarm crossing, about 1,500 metres of multi-gauge track we can provide for models of all sizes. That's quite an achievement. You must have had quite a lot of support. We had help from our friends. Tech, Tauranga City Council, Western Bay Dist Council, District Council, Pub Charities, Lion Foundation, Sunrise Lions, Great and Lions, public sponsors, have all given us some financial assistance over the years. But the greatest support has come from our club members giving their time freely over those 37 years to build and maintain our railway. And of course, the wonderful people of Tauranga and Western Bay have supported us by regularly riding on our trains, some now in the third generation having fun. What makes our volunteer <coughs> group so unique? Our club is a model engineering group of people who use their skills at engineering to build, maintain and operate a, a railway as volunteers for the benefit of not only our community, but for any person who decides to visit Tauranga to have some fun. 
We are unique because we are giving our time free so that others can have pleasure in their free time. Our club's growth, increasing public support and smiles on the faces tell us we are doing something really special. Nearly one million rides since 1984 says it all. Our club must have a large membership. No, quite modest. We currently have 85 listed members in which due to association, geographical location, age or other commitments, results in an active group of about 30 members. They must be busy. They certainly are. Every member has their own personal commitments. Only about one third of the active group are retired. From the group of 30, we need members to operate our railway. We have Saturday working bees that have 10 members helping generally. Members training day is a monthly event. We have up to 15 to 20 members attending that. Tuesday is maintenance day, every Tuesday. An alternate running day, supported by eight or nine members. A workshop maintenance member spends an average of 12 hours a week maintaining our workshop and keeping it tidy. Members meet every Tuesday night. A committee of nine meet for three hours each month. Our safety committee meets four hours regularly to monitor the safe operation of our track. Our open weekend for visiting clubs is held annually, involving 15 of our members each day. The list goes on. With all that involvement, our club must achieve quite a lot. A huge amount over the years. Two years ago, we finished a 10-year, $380,000 track extension that totaled 40,000 hours plus of time, covering all aspects of that project. Every task that could be carried out manually was done by our members. A viaduct, bridge, embankments, all on a two-metre crust covering mar deep marine mud. All were major tasks, especially the design, as was fundraising for the project, of course. Our club held a model engineering convention over four days in 2016 that required frequent planning meetings over the two years. Two new locomotives were completed as club projects. Our club entered the Christmas spirit and then won the not-for-profit profit best float at Tauranga's Santa Christmas Parade 2015. The first part of a railway crossing safety awareness program designed specifically for children was started. Our club has achieved a lot, and in the given time, 90% involves the maintenance, development, and operation of our railway. Our club has and will continue to maintain our core aims, but will also provide an affordable family activity that everyone can enjoy. Our only payment in return for all those smiling faces is the satisfaction that we have given our greatest gift to the community, our greatest asset time. Friends, that concludes my presentation. Thank you very much for the opportunity to hear our story for the Taranga Model Marine and Engineering Club. Talk to you. Chugga, 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 chugga